all right what is up you guys was welcome to another game of the starters of this generation is gonna wreck my shit i just need to get into position where it does outspeed which isn't necessarily all that easy swampert is the lead i think that is fine you could do far worse question is like we do have defog here if we need to and i kind of need it for butterfree to go efficiently here but i can easily go for an ice beam just do as much damage as possible and then follow that up with a jorn oh yeah skull though right no just really lucky or not luck i mean i not that i really really need those percent to hit off but it's always great getting something frozen um john here i do believe his earthquake could do um good enough damage on me but at least i like force it out if i won't need to but yeah shame you know you get the first turn freeze and it doesn't help you that's that's kind of rare <laughs> Right, the side sustain, which works for me. Um, I think it just skulls here, earthquakes. Quakes, that's fine. Don't believe it should do all that much either, because Wolverine is, well, pretty darn bulky. Like, it doesn't necessarily care about a whole of a swamp that can do. However, neither can I. So, I already showed him. Um, like, his best switching should be Blastoise, right? I'll try to capitalize on that. If I could, that is. Right? Let's see if this works. He could decide to stay in and go just for an Earthquake, I think. Withdraws, that's fair. Like I said, Blastoise is what I anticipate. Venusaur. Hi, bro. What's up? Honestly, did not expect it. Sludge Bombing. I mean, in theory, I should switch into Yurashi, I think. Alright, we're both defensive. I have like a small investment. It shouldn't matter. But we are not, we're not hurting each other, that's for sure. So with that in mind, I mean, he's gonna keep going for that. I could easily just go for... Hirashi and, um... Lock myself into Sen Headbutt. I don't believe any Iman he has besides the Blastoise. Enjoy. Enjoy to deal with that. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. I just really hope it goes with Sludge Bomb and not Earthquake. Let's find out. Ha! Huh, got him. About time to. I needed that. Yeah, so then, but I think Swampert is the natural switching. And uh, while well, U-turn would be nice... Uh, I really, if you decide to say anyone, I just dent him. The Blasters and Swampert should be Charizard. Not so much, right? I think that is a not so much scenario. Let's find out. Let's see, Sinemba does. Yeah, it's a 2 kill, buddy. Leftovers? Ruh -ruh. That's not gonna help. Or maybe it is. It depends on the set. I mean, it could be a Rue set with with Will-O-Wisp. Uh, we don't get to find that out. Yes, we do. Flinch him, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. Keep going. Keep going, Yurashi. Huh. I do kind of halfway realize here that the Infernum comes in, maybe, maybe tells me that it could, should be Scarfed, right? More on the could environment, I think. Um, Alright, let's, let's try this one out. 
This could be a mistake. If it goes for a close, it shouldn't though, it shouldn't kill. Flamethrower. Alright, special. Still not not too dangerous. I've done worse. Defogging on this. I mean, Focus Blast sucks, but... It doesn't need to be special either, I kinda realize that. He switched up moves too, so Yurashi does have an opportunity versus it. Question is... Alright, Swamp It. Alright, defog on this. Because his moves are like Scald, I'm sure, Earthquake, Stealth Rocks. That should be that should be the get up, setup. <laughs> and leftovers, of course. Um Yeah. I mean, if I were him, I'd just reset the rocks. I wouldn't scald. If he has Ice Beam, I mean, that's gonna be a ferocious decision. Self rocks. Yeah, that's fair. Don't really care about that. He has the Venusaur left, but I don't believe he wants to switch that in. Just decide to stay in, however. That works. Fast asleep, I'll say. Right. Withdraws, that's fair. Two. Or Terra. Huh. Huh. Wait. So he's gonna go for a Stone Edge, right? That should be the move to break my sub. That could be the only move he has to break it. I'm thinking here, like, what would be the move here? Can he even break my sub with a wood hammer? Maybe he can. Maybe he can. Let's find out. Heavy slam. Oh, you cheeky. Yeah, that actually might do it. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, that's all it too. Um Yeah, we're playing by smoke rules, I won't sleep him, of course. You're slashing here for as much damage as possible. Potential for a flinch, that would be nice. Let's see how much do we do. Ah, it's solid. Flinch him! No. Can Heavy Slam kill, though? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it can. That's a shame. That's a shame. Um. All right. Hmm. Earthquake should be plenty here. Withdraws. Shame. Two, Swamp It. Right, Earthquake will do... Really nothing. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I need that guy down. I don't mind 
Somp it as long as it's asleep, but that's only gonna be for like a few more turns. But he wouldn't risk it, of that I'm sure. So I'm, I think I'm better off going for a sludge bomb here. On the off chance he brings on his own Ven Venusaur. Or Charizard. I think both of them make more sense here. Losing Swampert means you lose the game, in theory. Yeah. It's a bit of a read. It might not work out, but at least at least I did the right move. That's what I'm trying to say. Nice. We're not in KO range anyways, it doesn't necessarily matter. Do I want to sacrifice Venusaur in this scenario? We do outspeed it, so we can force ourselves to soak in other hits. Well, pretty sure I was going to go for Synthesis, I guess. Guess what's no reason to? I am thinking here. I mean, really, really, mean, really thinking. Do we want to lose them on? You know, Yurashi has an off chance of dealing with the others. It would be nice sending up rocks to make sure Charizard is dead. Good draws, that's fair. I wouldn't do that myself, I think. To Torterra, second that one instead. And if I don't kill it, I just recover, but I should kill it dead, for sure. I need to save this guy for whatever whatever lies ahead. Inferno is back. Yet to lose an HP. And Flygon is really on a last reserve. But it really can't do anything either besides shaking this guy, so I don't believe I'll lose a lot even if he goes to close combat here. And if I get this guy out of the way, I should be in a fair enough position. Ah, oh, U-turns, that's fair. Good play. Good lad! <laughs> Two blast doors. All right. Hmm. Yeah, let's try some damage. I think I should bait him enough for an Ice Beam, and if he Shell Smashes, I think I still should bait him for an Ice Beam. Not at all. Rapid Spin. Huh. I was so convinced this guy was going to be something else that... Seeing defensive uh, Rapid Spin is... Um, it's so weird to me. That means I'm gonna bring in Warren. Even with the Stealth Rocks in mind, I think. Because he should have, like... What, Surf? Maybe Aura Sphere. But definitely Ice Beam should not even... Like, hurt at all. <laughs> like, that's a nope. On so many levels. And um, he could have Aura Sphere, I think. Somehow I got less worried by this. Flash Cannon. Mm -hmm. I won't do it either, buddy. Question is, what does come into this? Flash Cannon, Ice Beam, Rapid Spin. I think an Ice Beam on the off chance he stays in, right? That's gotta be it. Bit of a slower play here. Swampert comes in, of course. Ah. <sighs> 
I mean, if I can get him down in range, that would be nice, but I really want to speed this game up. I don't believe I can do that. Right? He shouldn't have a way to... Um, to recover, at least. Because I just need... to bring him down in range where I don't need to care for it. Or that where Yurashi kind of force it out. I also realize the Surf kind of does the same amount of damage, but... He should wake up this turn and try to bring me down. There we go. As long as it doesn't have rest, I'm not too worried. So Earthquake, most likely Skull, I think. And he's loose in the Swamp Pit, which is, you know, my goal, somewhat. I don't believe Inferni want to come into this either. And I can always freeze, again. Skull, yeah, nope. He went for the chipping, didn't get it. Um, that's right, I don't believe I want to save the Swamp Pit, so... We're just gonna go for Ice Beam again. I'm slightly worried like he would even bring in like Infernape to this, but I just I can't risk it. I can't. But now with Swamp It Dead, I don't need Venusaur anymore. Or at least it gives a blast if it was defensive, I guess it kinda of force it out, but that's about it. Charizard won't beat me. Infernape with close combat will beat me. Blastoise can't do anything. But I can't do anything to it either. Ah, damn, I miss Toxic. I like a lot. Probably more than I should. He's thinking, though. I mean, we're, we're getting into the timer here, so I won't be able to wrap up the game the way I wanted to. Infernip comes. And, quite frankly, yeah, three minutes left. I should go for a Surf on the off chance he doesn't close combat. There we go. Exactly what we needed. Just wish whether or not he had um, sent headbutts. Or not, I, I have sent headbutt, but I mean, um, if he had Mag Punch. I, I really want to bring Hitmalee and wrap it up like that, but at the same time, I think it's too big of a risk. So if he stays in, he'll lose the Infernape. Nice. He could be Sash too, I guess. Which he was. So can we get that 60% flinch? That would be tremendous. Yes! Yes! Serene Grace, buddy! Serene Grace. 60% of absolute madness. Oh, he thought he had the game. He thought he had it. He thought he had it. I also kinda thought he had it. But he didn't. And now... He will face the consequences... Of Jirashi. Oh, well, he got a crit too? Why not? Probably unnecessary. Probably a little bit unnecessary. Probably a little bit. Maybe not a lot, but probably a little bit. I mean, I need just to reconfirm the flinch or get the KO. I mean, why not, right? There we go. Nice. That's what you get! You think people forgot about this Yurashi? Iron Head might be a thing. A little bit of a thing, but Senhen Body works just as well. Even with that small chance of missing, which definitely doesn't annoy me a whole lot at all. As me trying to say, fuck this game, when it will happen, right? There we go. I was telling you guys, eventually that will strike you. Alright. If he has Mac Punch now, then it just confirms that he was in a golden scenario and... Please don't have it. Didn't have it! That should've gone for Hitmoli. Fair enough. By the way, I like Close Combat Flame for recombination. I think that's a good combo. Even if it didn't work out this time. 
But if you're using Sash, you kind of don't want to ruin it. But it also means I should set up Stealth Rush when I was thinking about it. But yeah, Joshua, great game, as always, really. It's not the first time we battle, so it's kind of nice having a chance of going against you again. And for everybody watching, hope you enjoyed this game. And uh, hell, Walrus is doing way more than I thought I ever would do. So with that said, hope you enjoyed this, well, this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care, everyone, right? Bye.